What's going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, Nick and I have a spectacular video for you guys. We are going to be introducing something totally different that we've never done to the channel. We are up here in the beautiful Northwoods of Wisconsin, like usual for Nick and I. I've got the John boat behind me, as you can tell. I've got some rods, we've got the boat motors with us, and we are at a beautiful little campsite. And I'm gonna show you guys what we're working with. Like I said, we're gonna be introducing something new to the channel. So as you can tell, we've got a little fireplace here. We've got a bench behind me here. We're out kind of in the middle of nowhere. There's a few other campsites around us. We're actually on a pristine lake that is filled with bass and walleye and all kinds of good stuff. But the main thing that we want to touch base with you guys on is what is inside this box. Now, this is something that's going to be very different for Nick and I that we've never done before. And we're actually really excited to do because we're testing it out here at a campsite, at a campground, but we don't necessarily ever have to go to a campground ever again because what's inside this box, as you guys could probably tell from the title of this video, is a tent that is fit for the back of a truck. Now this is the first time we are seeing this. Nick came across this on the internet. Many folks have also done this in the past. But guys, inside of this very box lies a tent that is fitted just for the back of a pickup. As you can tell, Nick's got the old Ford with us today. And we are going to be setting this bad boy up right here in the bed of this truck. And we virtually now can camp anywhere in the world that we want. We don't necessarily need to have a campsite. We don't even need to be on a campground. We can find any hidden little gem lake out in the middle of nowhere. We can virtually camp wherever we want. So we are going to go ahead, tear this baby open. We're gonna rip it apart, set it up here, and we're virtually just gonna start camping out in the middle of nowhere. We're gonna test out some new lakes. We're gonna go ahead and get everything set up for you guys. This should be a lot of fun. So stay tuned and eventually we're gonna get into some fishing. Alright guys, well, take a peek at it. Not looking too shabby. Like Nick is wrapping up the finishing touches here. Yeah. Just look how much is room in. is in there, dude. This thing is awesome. Set that up. Definitely a good investment. Finish clipping these. And just like that, we are done. Dude, that's awesome. Now, this is this is the little hangout. All we need is a sleeping bag, maybe some snacks. As you can see, this is the whole bed of my truck, tailgate included. I could lay down comfortably here. I'm almost six feet tall. We have plenty of space here. You know, we could both sit in here. We could, I don't know, we got room for a shelf. We got room for a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to be planning on using this a ton the rest of the summer this is why we wanted to make this video to show you guys you know we're starting at a campground but eventually throughout like maybe the series that we're going to be doing or something we're going to be just camping like anywhere you guys tell us to so whether that's a walmart parking lot or in the middle of the up anywhere that's what the goal is for this because you can drive it set it up and then you're good to go so so you're saying road trip saying road trip anywhere that's where i'm saying i like that all right well we're gonna finish this up and then we're gonna do some fishing all right guys well as you can see we did some finishing touches behind me we've got our bed made for the evening it's nothing too crazy yet again this is just our first time trying this out but guys 
I'm super excited to actually use this thing. Nick and I were just talking. There's so many ways to customize this. I mean, we could make some shelves for this. We could bring a whole mattress into this thing. You could probably throw a TV in here. Honestly, guys, the ideas are endless. So we're super excited. Again, we're just up here on a fishing trip. This is just the first time we've ever set this up or even used it. It's fresh out of the box and we've got plenty of fresh ideas. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump out of this baby. Ah, as you can tell, it's even got a nice little bug guard here. Little mesh guard, pretty sweet. So we ain't got no bug friends in there tonight. But uh, yeah, that's kind of the setup. As you guys can tell, everything's on now. Like I said, the cape is on. So if we get a little rain tonight, which I believe we're going to, we're not gonna get soaking wet or anything like that. But obviously guys, possibilities are endless with this thing so as you can tell this tent is made by napier uh, we're going to go ahead and we will leave that down in the description below if you guys are interested in the tent make sure to check it out uh, if you guys think this is an awesome idea to start off drop a thumbs up right now uh, if you guys want to see us catch some fish make sure you're subscribed because we do that on the daily we're going to go ahead load up the boat take it out onto this beautiful pristine lake right behind us we're going to enjoy our night catching some smallies, maybe even some walleyes. We'll see how it goes, but stay tuned. All right, well, as you guys can tell, we got a little nature trail that leads right out to this beautiful lake. We've got the boat set up right here. We got our rods, all of our tackle. We got some logs that we got to crawl over, but this works out pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and get everything ready here. We're gonna jump in get out on the lake and catch some fish. All right, we don't even have the boat started yet and already got first fish of the night, decent little bass. I think tonight's gonna be a good night, guys. Considering we haven't even left the landing, I mean, this cannot be too bad. See you later, buddy. Dude, that's awesome. So I love truck camping. Not sure about you guys, but this is pretty great. We can just go anywhere and catch fish like this. There's nothing better. All right, let's get out there. Let's do this. This is not my first fish of the night. We have not pulled out the camera yet, but we literally just got out here. Cannot get this guy unhooked, but we just got out here. First largey for me, I actually already caught a smallmouth and lost a couple. What are you doing right now? Literally like two minutes onto the lake. I'm using just a small, this is a Rebel R popper, with a little rattle in there. And we're just casting along these, uh, what I don't even know what these are, tall, they're kind of like cattails cat tail in a way. type thing but the fish are just stacked along this right now we're pretty much getting like a hit or a fish on pretty much every single cast right now probably with the camera out it won't happen but that's what's been, you got a hit <laughs> that's what's been happening oh. <laughs> yeah so the fishing is is hot we haven't caught anything big but literally we've been out here for like two minutes and they're crushing the top water which is good to see. This one is a smallmouth, I think. No, nope, large mouth. Nope, another large mouth. But it seems like they're just mixed in. Like sometimes you'll catch a large mouth and then the next cast you'll catch a smallmouth. They're really uh, just sticking in the same area. But tons of action. I mean, I can see them just jumping in there. And Brandon caught that one within the first cast of so just like getting into the boat and saw him jumping so he took a cast and he caught it. We're just going to keep on doing this tactic. We are going to switch over to walleyes eventually here, but if the smallmouth and the largemouth are hitting, we're just going to keep on doing this and see if we can catch an absolute giant. Another fish. We've been really slacking on the videoing right now because the fishing is so intense. Like we've literally gotten a fish for like every single cast. First decent largemouth. Man, look at how beat up this thing is. There are a lot of muskies in the lake, so that's probably why he uh, looks the way he does, but it's a nice, decent largemouth. Still getting him on the top water, still getting him on that popper. And like I said, we're just getting one every single cast, so it's really hard to film because it's a little too dark for the GoPro. So we have to have one of us holding the big camera to record, but get a release on that. There he goes. Well, it is starting to get real dark real quick. We've gotten into a few fish, got into some decent bass no walleyes yet but we got into a few smallmouth got into a ton of largemouth so i think uh we're gonna start heading in because we don't have a great uh, amount of lights so we want to get in and try and find our camping site so we're gonna start heading back and hopefully 
get a little food into our system and enjoy some more camping. So now that we have made it back to our campsite, Nick and I have started a small fire, adding a little bit more wood to it. We're gonna get this thing going real good, throw some dogs on, have a little snack, and then it's time to hit the hay. So we're gonna chow down, grab some food, and then it's uh, time to get some sleep. Come in. Come on in, buddy. It's not bad. Oh, oh God, there's a moth in here. Oh, let's close the door. This is not so bad. Honestly, I think it's pretty awesome, but just looking at it, it makes me realize there's so many things that we could do to this. Like, like we said before, I mean, you could have TVs in here. We could make storage and you could put uh, like an actual mattress, a whole bed in here, lights. There's so much stuff you could do. So we're pretty excited. I think uh, Nick and I are both pretty happy with this purchase. So we're going to go ahead, think of a few more ideas, brew them up in our head. And we are going to go to sleep. So we will see you guys in the morning. And we will let you know how we thought the uh, first night goes. We will see you guys in the a.m. morning everybody it's about 8 30 in the morning Nick and I just woke up slept like absolute angels I gotta say it's pretty comfortable did not actually really want to get up because I was sleeping like a baby it's pretty nice actually in there all I know is that if we come up with some sort of concoction where we can fit an actual mattress into this thing it's over I ain't gonna have time to fish I'm just gonna be sleeping in this thing I think Overall, I think it was pretty comfortable. It was actually a lot of fun getting out here, not having to set up a normal tent where you're just lying in the dirt. Uh, you don't have to have a cot or anything like that in here. I think this thing is gonna be the move, guys. Honestly, Nick and I are pretty excited because as we've said, there's just so many endless possibilities. So we kind of talked about a few things before we fell asleep last night. We've got a few ideas of how and where we can use this thing. And I'm pretty excited because I think we're going to start using it a lot more on the channel. So if you guys enjoyed seeing us use this type of tent and you guys enjoy these types of videos, uh, definitely let us know uh, down in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you guys think we should do, uh, where we should go, how we can use this thing. Uh, any ideas to make it look awesome, make it the new pad, you know, uh, anything that you guys have for ideas for us, please let us know down below because we would greatly appreciate it. We can try all sorts of different types of things. So let us know what you thought. Uh, we're going to go ahead and probably start taking this down. We've got a little bit more fishing to do and uh, hopefully we'll get into some more fish this morning and you guys will see that in another upcoming video. But for right now, Thank you guys so much for joining us. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to hit that notification bell as well. As always, tight lines from NB Edits.